I go through connecting up a um, 20 by 4 LCD dot matrix little screen that I bought from JCAR, it's only uh, 20 bucks, um, to a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. Um, shout out, I used the um, tutorial here from Raspberry Pi uh, tutorials for the 16 by 2 for the HD 4478, 44780. Um, uh, but there was a couple items with the screen contrast uh, and editing the code itself um, that needed a bit extra information. So um, this video should help fill you in. So um, what I noticed um, for starters to be able to connect something onto the back of this module um, was we needed a little um, pin out so that way I could actually put my female pins on the back. And the way that we connected that up was just by soldering out. So you just snap it off at 16 pins and then solder that in to the back. Um, it was actually my first time doing this. It wasn't so hard. Um, get it and give it a try. So um, then after that, connecting up this screen, I noticed that the um, contrast was really out. Uh, so if we have a look and play this video, uh, you'll be able to see, well for starters I've just shown a little bit of the wiring, I've got the um, all of the black cables, which is the ground cables connected together, and they're connecting up to what you can see here is K, um, R, W, and VSS on the pinouts, um, and that's you know followed for the Raspberry Pi tutorial. Um, that you can see here and then the same with just showing a little bit of the red cables how there's the 5 volt on the VDD and um, 5 volt on the 15 and all the other colors are essentially just the GPIO pinouts and depending on which model Raspberry Pi you can connect those up um, and we'll go into the code on where you fill those out later but when I hit execute you notice here it's really hard to actually read. You can just make out foo and bar and three. When you're looking head on, you can barely read it. Um, and that was the problem I was getting. So to solve that problem, we actually needed to add um, a resistor on this contrast voltage pin. So on the LCD, that's uh, VO, uh, which is for contrast voltage. Um, and it's just going to ground. So it's just... I'll show you an example of it working here. So here is once I added that resistor on. You can see foo and bar, three, four, more, six, seven. So all the lines are a lot um, clearer to read. And that was just by adding on that resistor to that one ground cable from uh, VO on the LCD pin. And here's an example of the one I used. I used the 3200. What I worked out, it was just needed to be in the thousands, not the hundreds, um, in order to kind of get that contrast into a usable place. Cool. Now, <clears throat> so that's the hardware sort of part of it. Just when you open up um, for this particular one that I got from JCAR, it said that the backlight voltage um, was already had a resistor on it. Uh, so you actually didn't need to worry about that. You can connect it directly to 5 volts. Um, so inside the tutorial it was saying that some of them um, required it and in their wiring diagram they've connected up a resistor. I didn't need that um, for the backlight in particular. So um, on wherever the backlight is, the backlight 15 that didn't need the uh, um, the poti. Okay, now if we go to the code, so what I was saying before is these um, GPIO numbers. So really, you know, RSE data four five six seven. So those are the things RSE four five six seven that are actually written on the sixteen pinouts. All you've got to do is just match up the numbers, see 4, 17, 18, 22, 23, for whatever you actually plugged into your Raspberry Pi. So, um, you know, my Model B, I plugged it into 14, 15, 17, you know, 
22, 23 as they recommended, and that's how you can kind of see that line up. But if you're already using one of these GPIOs, you can put it onto another GPIO and just um, make sure these are matched. Now, the thing that when you download the code, um, for example, in the code here, they've got like a download link for that code. One thing I noticed um, was I was for the two line display, not for the four line display. So what we needed to add was this here, LCD line three and four, and then put in zero times 94 and zero times D4. Um, and then you can actually reference LCD line three and four um, in your code lower. So here's an example of writing, you know, LCD send by line three, and then writing the word three. LCD line four, writing the word line four, or uh, here we go, I've waited for four seconds and then I've written over it again with seven and eight, 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 when I've written across line three and line four. And you can see that in this, um, the last section of this video here, uh, where, there we go. Oops. more six, seven, eight, 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 eight. And that's this line here that I've written out. So they're the only two things that you need to do is um, just make sure you create this reference for the LCD line three and four. Um, then you can write to it inside your code and make sure you get that resistor on the uh, contrast pin. And then you should be able to use the tutorial. All right, thanks, bye. Uh, and if you, um, if you want to see more about getting your code from, uh, say for example, Visual Studio straight onto your Raspberry Pi, check out one of my other videos on how to use the um, NetTalk uh, in order to share a folder from your Raspberry Pi to your Mac. Cheers. Bye.